All right, guys, it feels great to be out here on the water right now. We're gonna be out here doing some fishing. Today, when we catch a fish, we're gonna be doing something pretty special. It's gonna be technically raw fish, though, to be honest, because the definition of cooking, I think, is using heat to cook fish, so. We're gonna be using lemon, and we're gonna be making something called ceviche while we're out here on the water. So hopefully we can get a fish here early to let it sit in that lemon juice for a while. We're gonna keep it easy. All I did is last night, I prepared the ingredients and all that. I cut up some tomato, cut up some onion, cut up some avocado, and I threw that all in its own bag separate from the lemon juice so it doesn't get super soft. And then I threw a bunch of lemon juice and a little bit of water in a big container, and I brought a little bit of garlic salt with me. So we're gonna keep it super simple. If we catch one of these fish, they're amazing eating stripers. These stripers are absolutely amazing eating, and they'll turn out awesome. And Senior, you ready to get on some ceviche later? Heck yeah, it's gonna be delicious. All right, so we're still looking around for uh, we're still looking around for stripers. I haven't seen much. There's a ton of boats out here today, but we're just casting around for bass as we wait. We can see across the whole lake right now because it's dead calm. As we're bass fishing, we're keeping an eye out for boils. We got some binos if we see something far. When you don't see any striper boils, you kind of just fish for whatever bites until you see some. Quick update, guys. We're looking around. Been out here about 45 minutes. No boils. Did a little bit of bass fishing, haven't got any bites on that either. As soon as we catch one, gonna chop it up, throw it in that lemon juice, we'll be good to go. They're on top, throw on top. Got him, got him. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my goodness. He's pulling drag. This might be a big one. Oh yeah, this is a good one. Holy cow. Look at how much he's peeling my drag. This pole's got 17 pound mono on it. And it normally, I can still powerhouse these fish. But look at this dang thing. This must be a, a big fish right here because I've never had this much trouble with this rod to pull in a striper. Oh yeah, he's a good size one. Nice. Ah. Ah. That's a big one. That's a pretty big fish. So Adrian just slammed a nice top water fish. Probably six, seven pounds. That's gonna be the uh, volunteer for ceviche. Yeah, these guys are dangerous right here though, because on their gill plate they've got practically a razor on them. I've cut my finger open before. Okay, so here's that fish I just caught. Absolute tank. That might be eight or nine. What do you think? Yeah, it's Look at his gut on him. So, caught just a nice fish right here. What we're gonna do? is since we're gonna eat them right now, we're gonna let them bleed out a little bit first. So you just get in here with your pliers, put them over your live wall, wherever you're gonna let them bleed, and that just rip his gills out. And that helps the meat taste better. All right, so we ended up with this nice one here. So what we're gonna end up doing, we're gonna go ahead and clean them. We already bled them and everything, so we should be nice and tasty. We're gonna fillet them really quick. We're not gonna eat the whole fish right now, so maybe like half of one of these fillets, because this fish is huge because that's gonna be way too much for senior knife for this whole fish. So the rest is gonna go straight on ice and should be delicious. So after he goes in that lemon, maybe a couple hours, by the time we're headed out, we'll be able to eat it just like a little snack or something. So here we go, we're gonna go ahead and start filleting them. So that was our goal, just to get one fish early. And uh, now that we have the fish, we are set. I just lifted his fillet high so I didn't get all that blood on it. Okay, so. We're not going to need a whole lot, so maybe a little bit more than this, but this is about right right here. Going to dice them up, maybe a little bit more, but what we're going to do to rinse them, we don't have just like water laying around, so this should be fine. If we end up getting sick, I'll let you know, but we're going to go ahead and rinse them in the lake water. That lemon juice, it's too acidic, it'll kill all the parasites and stuff. Plus, we're right here in the wide open, deep water, nice and cold. So, as you can see now, we got a perfectly nice piece of white fish. Take it over here and start cutting slices out of it. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut it this way first to kind of make it easier to dice, just like that. And then we're gonna just dice little 
bite-sized pieces. Maybe a little bit smaller and bite-sized because then it helps them cook all the way through in that lemon a little bit faster. So right here's our lemon mixture. It's mainly lemon, probably just a little bit of water I added in there just because uh, it helps fill it more. You get a little bit more. You don't need 100% lemon in it for this to work. So we're going to go ahead and drop our fish in there. I might end up throwing a little bit more, not sure yet. We're going to see how this turns out. Just There's like probably this. a couple scales in there, but that's okay. Yeah, a <laughs> little bit of crunch. Adds a little texture to it. The avocado probably would be good to throw the very last thing in there normally, but I went ahead and I threw it in this mixture anyways. This is just onions and tomatoes, a little bit of avocado. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw this in there and just mix it up. All right, so now we're going to add a little bit of garlic salt to it. Just add it, not a whole lot, just enough to where it'll be seasoned a little bit. And then later on you can add more as you do, but I like to add a little bit right now just so it can kind of sit in there with the fish as it cooks in that lemon. This is going to go straight in the ice chest, pack ice around it. It's going to sit in there for a couple hours till just about the end of the day. We're going to pull it out, eat some delicious ceviche. Give it a good little shake. You want to make sure all your fish is under the lemon. You don't want any of that fish above that lemon or else obviously it's not going to cook. So right here we're going to check that fish. It's under the lemon. Everything's perfect. Okay, we're all set. Now this is going to go ahead and go in our cooler and have ice packed all around it. We got our awesome canyon coolers here. These things keep ice literally forever. So here this goes right there. As you can see we got ice all around it. That's going to stay plenty cold in there. If anything I'll rip some and pour some but that, that's fine. That'll stay plenty cold. So now that stays in there and we do not touch it for two to three hours, four hours. Just depends when we get hungry out here tonight. We got some fish jumping so time to go catch some fish all right guys Adrian just caught that fish pretty nice striper uh, there's something I just wanted to mention real quick our videos have not been getting that many views we're not sure if it's the algorithm which it probably is YouTube's algorithm YouTube doesn't necessarily push hunting and fishing and all that stuff so in order for us to keep going we got to get more views how, how do we have hundred and sixty thousand subscribers and we're getting like 2,000 views. My wife is, is subscribed, obviously, has notifications on, and she's not even getting the notifications. I don't understand how that works, but in order to let YouTube know that you guys are liking the channel, we need you guys to comment. Just that might save the channel, I don't know, but we need you to comment, we need you to like, and we need you to share because, like I said, 2,000 views is not really it's not really generating any traffic and it's not really helping us so we need some action we need you guys to help us you guys want to keep our channel going and help us to keep it going then go down there comment as many times as you want or whatever you need to do we need some help guys so go down there and help us out let's see what we can do we got some shad below us we're graphing and you just saw one jump oh yeah there's one jump right there oh to your left oh my they're jumping. Look at my bait. Look at this mass. Oh my. You got him? Look. Look. Wow. Oh man, they're they're down here. They're down here. We're on them, folks. We are on. There was a big ball of Woo! shad down there. And then on what that a big fight. Ball of shad, there was whoa, 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 whoa. A bunch of these. This is why we come out here right here, guys. These moments right here, just you and the fish fighting. He might outsmart me though, because this pole's not meant for mm -hmm. big fish like this. Ooh. Oh, shoot. Oh man, they're below us like crazy right now. I'm surprised they're not smoking one on this. Oh yeah, he's a nice one. Get the, get the net, huh? Yeah? Get the net. Uh, hurry up. I'm gonna try to have that Oh, dang. God. Dang. Pull a hook or something? Well, dang it, guys. Using the top water, hooks aren't very big. And then this pole isn't rated for monster fish. Did he pull the hooks? Look, there might be a straight one. Yeah, one that, broke that, off on that last fish I was fighting. Yeah, that fish, yep, there's one straightened right here. But oh, that's why you lost straight. in there. But um, 
This bull's not rated for, I knew I was gonna lose him. He just felt so solid. He was probably 10, 12 pounds. He was real solid, so. As soon as he came up, like two feet from the top, he was gone. He popped off. <laughs> we just killed some time while we let the ceviche cook. And we went bass fishing a little bit and nothing crazy, nothing too exciting. Just a bunch of little bass. Senior was killing it with like a little square bill, catching a bunch of little bass. But uh, we ended up with another striper. So we got another probably eight, nine, probably seven, eight pounder in there. But ceviche sit plenty long. Let's see. Ceviche sat in there plenty long now. Make sure you get all that other fish's slime off it before we open it up. And you got this garlic salt too in case we need to add some. We're gonna go ahead and taste test this ceviche now. It's been sitting about three hours or so, which is a long time. We we're looking it up, probably like 30 minutes to an hour. They were saying it's actually good, but we'd rather be safe than sorry. And plus, we kind of got distracted bass fishing. Time flies out in the water, so. Just got some regular tortilla chips here. As you can see there, we let it sit quite a while because that avocado, normally that avocado will add that last because it kind of mushes up, but it's still fine. Let's see if I can dig in there and get some of that fish up. You can see the fish is white, nice and white, looks delicious. Give myself a nice bite. Tomato, onion, avocado, there we go. So let's go ahead and see. After a full day on the water, I gotta tell you, that's about the best thing you'll ever eat on the water. That, that lemon in it, it's like super refreshing too. It's like a very refreshing, just awesome taste. After a full day of grinding it on the water and stuff, you can't beat this, I'll tell you what. I highly, highly recommend you try this. 110%, a thousand out of 10. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Let's see what it's about. Fish, onions. Is that Did you a, get any fish on there, or is that all onion? Yeah, that's a, <laughs> that's a bit. It looked like all onion. It's delicious. It looked like you didn't have any jalapenos in it at all. No, no. That's what I was saying. I forgot yeah, the jalapenos yeah. and I forgot the cilantro. You guys know me. If they don't have jalapenos or hot sauce or something, then it gets automatically moved down to at least a nine. Yeah, but <laughs> no, I'm just for the kidding. situation, uh, I mentioned no, it's good. It's good. <laughs> I mentioned this morning I forgot the cilantro and the jalapenos because I rented the store about 10 minutes before they closed last night. <laughs> yeah, this is delicious. We're going to take that home too and, and share it. Juju's probably going to be excited. Hey, Ju By the way, a lot of you guys want Juju in the videos, but he has school. He's online and he's on the computer all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you do it. Your fingers are... Oh, he's all the way online. <laughs> Probably more like this, playing video games while he's supposed to be in school now. But um, yeah, he'll he'll be out soon. We'll get some video. Dang, awesome. that's good. It is pretty good, huh? I was gonna film like this. Yeah, that was good. I told you to put that avocado in last. Somebody, whoever that was that commented last time, they were like, put the avocado in right when you're gonna eat it so it stays crunchy yeah because it kind of gets mushy huh yeah it gets mushy you can't leave it in there for two hours if you have the fresh avocado it's perfect mm. man that's delicious that's good stuff so we're literally eating this fish on the water that we just caught him at i mean i can see where i caught him at just right over there and just a couple hours ago so it doesn't get any more fresh than this at all Right after we finish this up, we're going to head off the water. It's getting hot. It's probably mid-90s right now. So uh, we're burning up a little bit, and it's time to go. Other than that, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys try this out, I really would like to see it. Go ahead and maybe tag me in Facebook, Instagram, anywhere you post pictures about it or anything. And I think that'd be pretty awesome. So I think Senior mentioned this earlier. Channel views have been down a little bit. So hopefully you guys can drop a comment down below if you liked the video future content you want to see if you want to see more hunting fishing videos like this where we're cooking on the water um maybe a like and a, possibly a share to some of your friends that like hunting fishing this kind of content but other than that i want to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you outdoors